The imperfect tense is something that we don't exactly have in English. When we want to talk about the past, we have one past tense. I went to the store. I bought some bread. But in Spanish, they have two different past tenses. They do have one to say, I did my homework last night. I called you yesterday. But that's different from this one that you have in front of you. This one, the imperfect tense, is for things that didn't exactly have a completed time frame. In other words, I did my homework last night. That's a different verb form because I completed it. It's done. But if I wanted to tell you that when I was a little kid, I used to play with dolls or I used to like to travel or I used to do anything, there is no exact beginning and end point for that. So for those types of sentences, we're going to use the imperfect tense, which is a past tense used to talk about an imperfect time frame, one that's not particularly set. So if you look at the sentence, this sentence here where it says de niña, which means as a girl, jugaba, and you might recognize that from the verb jugar, which is an AR verb. And when we put AR verbs in the imperfect tense, you see this aba ending. And I'll show you all the endings down below, but I want you to get a sense for the fact that this means I used to play. De niña jugaba con muñecas. As a girl, I played with dolls. There's no end point to that. Maybe I still play with dolls. You know, there's no, it's not like it ended one day or I completed an action. So you can get the sense for these kind of like vague time periods and you'll know you need to use the imperfect. Remember, this is only used to talk about the past. So if I say yo comía, and you might recognize this from the verb comer, notice how er verbs get a different ending again we'll show i'll show you all those endings in a minute so this one would mean yo comía hamburguesas pero ahora soy vegetariana vegetariana okay and this is true for me i used to eat hamburgers but now i'm vegetarian and so you can see comía is in the imperfect tense to say i used to but ahora, which means now, you can see I'm using the present tense of the verb ser to say something, a characteristic about myself. If I say yo comía frecuentemente paella, that means I used to eat, just like we did above with hamburgers. And then this one just finishes the sentence like that. Okay, venir means to come. So here is the imperfect tense in the nosotros form. Veníamos, we used to come para casa cuando vimos a Juan. So we were coming home when we saw Juan. So here is an example of the imperfect tense. We were coming or we used to be coming along. And then this one's in the preterite tense because it's a completed action. We saw Juan. We're not continuing to see him. We saw him like when we first saw him. You can only see him first one time. So notice how the first verb is imperfect, but the second is the preterite, right? We saw Juan. It's a completed action. Like you didn't see him and then you did. Action completed. So that's why that one is in the preterite. This one is though we were coming to the house. Maybe we're still going to the house. Maybe we don't know how long we were going to the house. So there's some like imperfect amount of time that going to the house was this general open time frame. We don't know how long that was. Now, if we put a time frame in here, if we say like I came home at five o'clock, well, that's a set time. If that was the case, we'd use the preterite for that. So hopefully that makes sense. Just keep in your, in your mind that preterite is the past tense used for specific start and end points. The imperfect, the one we're doing here, is for this vague, general, used to, something was happening type of thing. Okay? Now the endings are generally pretty easy. Okay? So when you have an AR verb, it's just going to be aba, abas, aba, abamos, and aban. Notice how el, ella, usted, and yo have the same ending. So I would want to make sure I include the subject pronoun. Yo hablaba. I used to talk. El hablaba. He used to talk. Ella hablaba. Hablaba from hablar, to talk, is the same verb, and hablaba is exactly the same. So that's why we need to put the yo 
or the L A A U stat in front of it, because otherwise we wouldn't be certain who our subject is. But the rest of them, they're unique. So I can just say, hablabas, you used to talk. Hablabamos, we used to talk. Hablaban, they used to talk. And it's kind of funny when you first start to say these, right? Hablaba. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds funny to anyone, but it becomes you know, it's so widely used, this tense, that it kind of does, it's not funny after a minute. All right, now if you have ER and IR verbs, you their endings are exactly the same in the imperfect. So it doesn't matter if your verb is ER or IR. So let's use comer to eat as an example. So I would say yo comía, el ella usted comía. See how that's the same there too. Tú comías, nosotros comíamos, vosotros Pretty sure that's how that one goes. And ellos comían. Remember the vosotros is only used in Spain. I never use this form of the verb when I'm uh, speaking Spanish because pretty much everyone in the United States is from somewhere in Central or South America and they pretty much, they don't use vosotros either. So you can kind of ignore that one, but just be aware of what it looks like. All right, and then here's another chart if this helps you. So this one on the left is for AR verbs, and this one on the right is for ER and IR verbs. So hopefully that helps you learn how to know how to use the imperfect tense. And happy speaking Spanish.